And whenever a patient comes to me with heavy menstrual bleeding, I make sure and do a full workup on that patient. This would include a physical exam and a history, do an endometrial biopsy on the lining of the uterus just to make sure there's no evidence for cancer, and oftentimes we do an ultrasound to evaluate the uterus. If there's anything on these uh, studies or on the exam that makes us suspect the patient would have a reason for the endometrial ablation to fail, then we would choose to do a hysterectomy. And some of the reasons that a endometrial ablation would fail would be if there were large fibroids in the uterus, maybe if they're larger than about three centimeters, or if there's several different fibroids that add up to more than three centimeters, or if we suspect that there might be endometriosis on the outside of the uterus or within the muscle of the uterus. Those would be two pretty common reasons that we might choose to do a hysterectomy versus just doing the endometrial ablation. Other considerations are um, the patient's family history for cancer. That may sway us more to do a hysterectomy than to do an endometrial ablation. And patient choice always comes into play. If you'd like further information on treatments for heavy menstrual bleeding, please feel free to contact us at Hill Country OBGYN or your local GYN provider. Thank you.